So I work for the Jeff Small Grants Program that is implemented by UNDP. That is a program that basically gives funding for communities uh, and civil society organizations around the world. We work in over 125 countries giving funding for uh, sustainable development um, projects developed by the communities. So usually these are little innovations that make a huge difference for communities that are usually do not get funds from other donors. Particularly within that, 40% of our portfolio is in climate change. And within that, uh, I'm also the gender focal point. So we try to empower women, and we have developed a gender mainstreaming strategy that basically empowers women from the design of the project through the implementation and then in the monitoring and evaluation. And by doing that, women actually are able to challenge some of the um, cultural and traditional roles that they have in the communities and are able to get empowered and create change. And once the community realizes that they are useful and they have all these knowledge and skills to transform their environment and produce good for the community, they get usually elected and get leadership roles in these communities that help not only the women status um, in the community, but also the community as a whole. Because, okay. And, and can you give an example of a kind of project uh, that empowers women and also is good for the climate? Absolutely. So we have um, a project that is in partnership with the Barefoot College where we um, train women around the world um, and we send them to the Barefoot College in India to be trained as solar engineers, um, usually of communities that are of the grid, that don't have electricity, so that they can go back to their communities and um, basically bleeding electricity through solar power. And to date, we have um, funded and supported 71 women that have electrified 52 villages, uh, benefiting 22,000 beneficiaries and um, 3,700 um, households. So this is really, really an example of something that can bring a lot of change. And we are in um, all of the continents, so we, we definitely are making something transformational. And how do you fund these kind of projects? So through small grants. So our grants are up to $50,000, on average $25,000. And basically, the community has to apply. Um, and we have national steering committees in each country, which are also a very interesting governance body because the government sits there, the UNDP country office sits there, but the majority is the civil society. Civil society as well as the private sector or the media or the academia as well. And they collectively decide which projects to fund um, and it should be developed in accordance with a country program strategy that basically aligns whatever grant making that we have made at the country level with the priorities of the country. And one of the important things uh, going on at this climate summit is trying to mobilise some finance for climate projects. I, I know that some of the developing countries are concerned that it's just going to relabel money that was for development, for other development objectives, as climate finance. Um, I mean, how, how can you make sure that uh, this is a net benefit for developing countries? Well, I think that there are more and more commitments coming. Um, and I think that given that climate change is such a cross-cutting issue, um, that I think there is interest from developed countries and developing countries to allocate it the best. And I do think that there is more and more interest in getting those funds trickling down to the community level. So we are actually hopeful that that will happen. And um, what do you want to see from a climate deal to support sustainable development? I think we want to see an ambitious agreement that is inclusive of all including indigenous peoples, women, youth, and other key constituencies. Okay, thanks very much.